everybody, Stu, AG6AG. We continue our Field Day 2020 in Retrospect series with an interview with Norm, AB6ET. Norm has been a close friend for a very long time, and he is a very experienced amateur radio and has participated in many, many, many field days. His opinion about this field day I found very important because he is one of the folks that has always been doing field day at a large event. So with that, let's go ahead and join Norman. By the way, if you like the videos, please hit subscribe down below. Hi everybody, my name's Stu, AG6AG, and uh, I'm here with Norm, AD6CT, and I'm going to discuss what he did this uh, coronavirus field day in 2020, and uh, how he enjoyed it, didn't enjoy it, what he did, and why he did it. So, uh, without any further ado, Norm, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Stu. Glad to be here. I've, I've got to tell you, you know, it's it's nice to have an experienced ham with us. How long have you had your license? Stu, I was first licensed as a kid in 1960. So this is 2020. I guess that makes 60 years, just about close. Wow. Wow. And uh, what license class do you hold now? I'm an extra. All right. Awesome. So the next question is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm not really even going to answer, ask it. I'll tell you what it is. It's, was this your first field day? And uh, I don't know. I think I know the answer to that. But uh, you can uh, uh, elaborate on that if you'd like. Stu, you and I have been uh, witness to many field days together. But I've uh, even before our time, I've, uh, I've attended many field days. I would, I would guess maybe 20 or 30 field days. Wow, wow. Um, so, what about this last field day? A lot different. What did it meet your expectations of field day? Or give me a general feel about how it was and how it was different and what you liked and didn't like. Well, I tell you, this year everybody faced a lot of challenges uh, with field day because we couldn't get together. And as a member of the Canal Valley Amateur Radio Club, we have, for the last many years, gotten together with uh, groups of 20, 40, 60 hams and had as many as 20 stations on the air. So we've been participating in pretty large field days. This year, everybody was at home. And it was totally different. The expectation was, what are we going to do? Well, it turned out through you and other club members and also the greater Ventura County uh, clubs got together and produced a number of what you call initiatives that got people on the air. And I don't know if you've talked about the board meetings or not, but through the board meetings, interest ramped up for field day this year and it turned out to be i think very exciting and a lot of fun and it got a lot of people on the air that were probably never on the air before or were limited on the air well you know it's funny you should mention the board meeting because we talked about it um you know most folks don't know that you were one of the founders of the board meetings way back in uh, gosh it was march right <laughs> february i mean you know seems like forever ago now in corona time it does. Uh, we had um, a few initiatives for this field day. Uh, we had um, the uh, VHF initiative, uh, which actually uh, spawned off into the Terry Graves Memorial Contest. Uh, we had the uh, oh uh, the uh, real time automated scores, uh, so everybody in the county could see their scores that stacked up against everyone else in the county. Uh, we had the, uh, oh gosh, there were so many things. We had the uh, Zoom meeting, a 26-hour Zoom meeting. That was uh, a lot of fun. That was, yeah. And we had uh, the um, uh, countywide uh, two-meter net on all the repeaters network together uh, to uh, give advice, answer questions, just uh, 
or just be there to talk at their computer or they, they weren't on the internet, they couldn't get up into their Zoom meeting, but they had a two meter that could get into one of the repeaters. Um, of those four things, I'd like you, you know, I, I'd love to have you comment on all of them, but before you do that, I'd like to hear which one you think had the most impact for the Ventura County community. Well, because of the, because of the board meetings, the B-O-R-E-D board meetings, I think the uh, links to the repeaters and the, the continual repeater activity was, was very valuable because it, it, it gave everybody that continued contact with one another. The, the individual things like uh, getting on the air for the VHF, wonderful thing. Got new guys getting on the air, the people had, had, had never contested before getting on the air. I think that was great. But uh, I, think, I think the repeaters and the repeater links were very valuable. But how can we discount the Zoom? That was so much fun to check in at, at any time during the day or night, and there'd be a dozen guys there. I mean, or or 20 or 50 so you never know that that was so much fun i think i think those two are really really tight i think having the i think having the repeaters together all the time was was good the zoom was wonderful though i, I have to admit i think uh the online scoring stuff did a lot for the bragging which was really kind of funny and it it it, it got a little bit competitive there at I least for me <laughs> yeah, it, it did. Well, it was a good way to, to see what was going on with the individuals, with the, the clubs, and then all the group clubs uh, with the, um, the countywide thing. So that, uh, that was really quite interesting. You know, what was so exciting was having all these new hams get on the air. And I got to go back to the board meetings again. There were, there were people listening in on scanners who said, how do I get in on this? They started going to the Zoom sessions. And then uh, that were also part of the board meetings, started going to the Zoom sessions, found out how to get a license, took the test and became hams and we're on field day. Yes, and that, that truly is amazing when you think about it. We had new hams just show up out of nowhere. A number of guys that said, I haven't had a radio on in five years, but I heard about you guys and here I am. That's like that guy that uh, checked into the board meeting one night. I think it was at 9 p.m. or whatever, and he checked in. And he goes, uh, yeah, you know, I was going through the drawers in the kitchen, and I found this HT. <laughs> I, I looked at it, and I said, you know, I wonder if this thing still works. Maybe I can sell it. And he turned it on. He was checking in every night like clockwork for, mm -hmm. you know, three months. It was crazy. Mm-hmm. It, it was fun. Well, field day really paid off this year because of those, and, uh, and and it kept everybody together. Instead of being isolated because of all the problems that we had with the medical business and the apprehension that there was going to be with field day, the, the board meetings brought everybody together, and then there were the Zoom sessions and the, the repeater uh, links that kept everybody together. And and although we weren't in the big tent with one another, we had five times that many people together by radio. You know, we had that uh, Agony Ants. I, I still can't get used to that name. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a British thing, English thing. Right. And of course, uh, that was, uh, oh, Andy that Andy. did it. And uh, he's he's quite British. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but... Uh, he, he basically came up with the concept of let's turn the Wednesday afternoon Zoom meeting, which was part of the board net. We were getting turnouts of 40 or 50 people sometimes. Mm -hmm. But um, I think that in itself answered a lot of questions. Uh, the majority of the questions I remember, though, it's ironic, what had to do with category, class, and rules. you agree <laughs> with that? Yeah, there was a lot of that. Yeah, well, yeah. How do how do I report myself? What am I? I'm I got this radio and I got that battery and I'm on this power supply and I'm using this antenna, but I'm going to be in my kitchen instead of in my radio room. What am I? Yeah, and a lot of that. A lot of that. There was a lot of that. Yeah. Oh, that was straightened out pretty. I think pretty well. I think after a while, everybody just 
decide, ah, here, I'm at home. I'm D. I may be on a battery or I may be plugged in, but yeah. I'm at home. And, and that worked out really well. Well, see, that's what I bet. I don't know what the numbers are, but that's probably what they'll find out is, you know, 90% of everybody was at home. And so. Well, and that's, that's interesting because I remember from the presentation that Martin did regarding previous field days nationally, as far as the logs submitted, there were more Delta class than anything else that were mm -hmm. submitted. Mm -hmm. Now, admittedly, in A class, you have a lot of hands together, typically, uh, that operate and submit the single A log, but or B log for that matter. Uh, right. You know, that's usually a group. But uh, you know, there I would have thought there would have been more Echo classes out there. Of course, now I was planning on running Echo, and when they changed the rule to Delta for the Delta stations. I said, well, why should I keep my neighbors up with a generator all night, right? That's right. You know, I just so. sit here in my bunny slippers and go back and forth, turn the radio on. Whenever exactly. I exactly. Um, it really worked out well. I had two two stations, actually. I had uh, I set up one in the backyard just for fun, and I had the one in here. Right. And, and I would just go back and forth between the two. I was still a 1D. Right. But, um, you know, it didn't make any difference to me. I just trying out different radios just for fun. So one thing that I noticed, for me at least, I did a lot of FT8, a lot more FT8 than I thought I was going to. Uh, I did a lot of single sideband uh, as well, phone. Uh, but wow, I think I did 42 uh, BHF contacts on field day. And to me, that number is insane. That is a high number for a field day. For That's a high number. Well, yeah. you know, part of it was because of the way you had structured our uh, competitions here and uh, the initiatives and with the Terry Graves initiative and all the new hams that were getting on the air, newly licensed and, and new hams that had never really been on the air and didn't have radios, but they did have, they did have a handheld radio it put them on the air for field day, even if it was a few contacts, you were able to make a few more, but they were able to make a few. And so there were a lot of stations to talk to this time. And and how about the antenna projects? People were building antennas like crazy. You know, and that was all about Keith. And, yeah. you know, Keith stepped in kind of as a last minute on this. Uh, he had said to me, he goes, you know, I got, uh, I got all these J poles, you know, I got like 10 of them on tripods and I'm thinking to myself, where the heck did this guy get 10 tripods and where can I get 10 tripods? <laughs> but um, uh, he built all these J poles to so I'm gonna lend them to everybody in the county. If they say they need one, I'll lend it to them. I'll make sure they can get it hooked to their HT. Uh, my God, that was, that was an incredible job on his part. Um, and, um, you know, uh, N6ZE, Pete, he uh, uh, unfortunately had to step back from the uh, VHF initiative due to, um, you know, unknown reasons. But he basically, um, you know, uh, stepped in, Keith did, W6KME, and took that all over and then turned around and said, Hey, you know, I was thinking maybe we should add a, a Ventura countywide contest for the BHF people as well. Um, what do you think? And, you know, I said, I think that's a great idea. And you're going to have time to put this all together when? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it worked out really well. It all came together right at the kind of the, I mean, it wasn't the last minute thing, but over, over a short period of time, it all came together, and with uh, with Martin, you know, not one, not not knowing what's going to happen with Field Day this year, coordinating some of that stuff along with the things that you guys came up with, it worked out great for this club and also all of Ventura County. Everybody, all the clubs, I think, got something out of it. If if they weren't able to participate in some of the initiatives, it told them that you know what. Everybody else is doing this. I should do this too. And there was something for everybody. Yes. There was something for the newest ham who just got licensed. And there were a couple of those two guys that had been on the air for many years. Yes. I, I do believe that. I do believe that. Um, and uh, if the, so the, the last 
two stack questions before I usually end the interview that I ask are, um, was there anything you think we could have done differently that would have made it better? Well, that's a hard question because I think it went so well. Uh, I, I would really be hard pressed to find fault with anything or say that something should have been done some other way. I haven't heard any comments like that. All right. Well, good. I like it when you say that, you know, it means that uh, the, the whole team did a great job to put this together. Um, the other question is, what portions of this do you think we could effectively do next field day, hopefully when we're not sequestered? I think the, uh, the, uh, the countywide repeater links and the Zoom, the 24-hour Zoom session, uh, without a doubt, would be probably the big takeaways from this. All right. Sounds good. All right. Anything you want to add before we close this up? Thanks for pulling this all together, Stu. Done a great job with the board meetings and uh, the Zoom sessions and the uh, the training. Did you mention your your training? Uh, oh yeah, videos. Yeah, I, I did one or two videos. Uh, yeah, uh, Zach did. Or uh, Zach, uh, Stu did a number of training videos that got everybody up and on the air with things that they needed to know, how to operate your radio, how to put an antenna up, how to connect to all this stuff together, how to make a contact, how to do this, how to do that. And it was a, a, a great resource for anybody that, that had never uh, done any uh, scoring, contesting, operating, or just needed a refresher to go and view. And Stu has uh, still probably still has those videos up on his website there that are uh, valuable for anyone. I, I will tell you that I have never done so many videos in such a short time. Um, and uh, it's going to be fun to get these up too. These are also uh, these interviews and there's a few of them are also going to be up on the YouTube channel. So, uh, and if you're watching it, you're probably watching it on YouTube. So there, uh, but uh, I want to thank you, uh, by the way, uh, Norm, for everything that you did with the board meeting. I mean, what a lot of people don't realize is when you're doing four nets a day, you need four net controllers that will be there every single day. And you did it for months. For well, months. we all did it together. We did it together. We all did it. Well, we yeah, but you know what? I, I'm just telling you. Yeah, sure. I did the 9 p.m. forever. All right. Um, Zach did the uh, uh, the 12 forever. Uh, you know, we had uh, uh, you doing 6 p.m. I think that was your time slot, right? We yes, had uh, uh, sure. Keith doing 9 a.m. and we'd switch off and we cover for each other. Yeah. But there wasn't a lot of time off. And, um, you know, being one of those guys that did it just like you did. Thank you. No, I know you. what it You're takes welcome. to do that because I was doing it too. And boy, mighty. Well, that was a lot of dedication. It's a lot of work. And, and Marshall coming in too. And, and exactly. filling in when we had so many, so many questionable areas that might have been blank. Well, he was right there for that. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much, Norm. And uh, my goodness, uh, I will let you know when this is up. Thank you, Stu. 73. 73. Wow. That was great. And I want to thank Norm for joining us for this interview and sharing his thoughts. Hey, if you liked the video, please hit the subscribe button down below and enter any questions or comments in the comment area. With that, this is Stu, AG6AG, bidding you 73. Hope to hear you on the air.